if your ultimate goal is to be famous, then you're gonna do a lot to do to get there, like sign your name in blood in a contract with the devil. I kind of sang about, you know, what was going on in my life at 15, and that's how I got introduced to the music industry. I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out, and so I sold my soul to the devil. Well, needless to say, sold my soul. It's a dance with the devil, a mature, real wrestle. It's a dance with the devil. I'm trapped, if I can go back, I never would have rapped. I sold my soul to the devil, I'll never get it back. I just want to leave. Do you record while, while the bus is moving, or does it have to come to a stop? Yeah, well, you? sometimes they don't want to, and they're, you know, gaga, we can't get, you know, the, the frequency's weird, and, you know, it's sounding a little bit strange, and I'm like, if you don't get this right now, I swear to Lucifer, I'm gonna, and, you know, I get a little bit mad. I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. This it came with a few toys like a happy meal. Why is your hand over your eyes? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a devil worshiper. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, well, I have tickets to see the devil worshiper. Roman is a crazy boy who lives in me. And he says the things that I don't want to say. <laughs> he was born, a f you know, just a few months ago. I think he was born out of rage. He was conceived in rage. So he bashes everyone. He threatens to beat people, and he's violent. That must be nice to have, like, an ignorant loudmouth who you can just sort of blame every... He wants to be blamed. I don't want to blame him. I, I, I ask him to leave, but he can't. He's here for a reason. People have brought him out. People conjured him up. Now he won't leave. I never listened to Nicki Minaj, so that's no loss, so... She worships the devil I heard anyway, so. And boy, I got you. Hey. It's a night of making deals with the devil. And I know it's gonna get me in trouble. I gave into the fire. I know I should have fought it. At least I'm being honest. I know that this is my fault. I should have been more careful. The devil's got some tools. The business. You're still out here doing these songs, you know, you're still on tour. I do, but I don't take it for granted. Why do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. I, mean, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my hand. What was your bargain? To get where uh, I am now. Sh should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and in, uh, and then in a world we can't see. God's country, you know, and uh, um, it's not so much who, it, it's what, you know, what happens and, and the things that the devil does. It's not so much a person, even though he, he acts through people, you know, you can't call one person the devil. Joe Arpaio? You, know, you can't call any one person the devil. You can't do that because no one person has enough power to be the devil, you know? And I 
just think that the whole idea of celebrity and fame has become really convoluted and, you know, kind of bastardized, like whereas fame used to be the byproduct of success and now it's the ultimate goal. And you, if, you're, if your ultimate goal is to be famous, then you're going to do a lot to, do, to get there, like sign your name in blood in a contract with the devil. Like you're going to end up in a, on a one-way street and it's going nowhere. Like that's just the truth. I've seen, I've seen so many people like forsake their, their, their moral code and their value systems just for a little bit of fame. And it's, it's not worth it at the end of the day. It's really not worth it. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist.